All right, welcome back to Jump One Half. I chickened out of this level last time, but uh, it's only been about 30 seconds for me, so I'm not really getting much from chickening out from it. <laughs> Guide Mr. Goomba to the box. Press L or R to toggle the green blocks. Press both combined to reset. Now, I read this message 30 seconds ago in the last video, but I still feel the need to read it again. Press start and select at any time to exit the level. Okay, well, I already figured that out by mistake. Well, more like coincidence. Press L or R to toggle the green blocks. Press both combined to reset. So doing them does nothing in this room. I've already failed. Let's reset. Oh, okay, I get it now. I'm not Demo. I'm the Goomba. And then we need to guide him back. Oh, wait, that was dumb. I didn't think that through. This is the tutorial puzzle I should be getting this first try, but apparently not. <laughs> this is reminiscent of those Mario Maker levels where it makes you look it look like you're playing as a Goomba or something. I guess I'm supposed to just keep the spiny up there so that Mr. Goomba can get to the box. Yeah, okay. I didn't even look at the Goomba, so that could have gone very wrong, but. I think I need to pop him here, and then we trigger it again. Much better. Oh, well I was supposed to let the mushroom out. Poor Mr. Goomba got eaten. I'll save you, Mr. Goomba! I... does this... no. I have to send the mushroom the other way. At least I saved him this time by resetting. Much better. The scary Yoshi won't eat you now. Oh boy, this is a lot of stuff. Um, I made Yoshi do a thing, apparently. Let's just hit the button right away this time. Oh, it stops the... that Koopa. I gotta stop him right over the vine then. That's the trick. This isn't the easiest thing in the world to time. Alright, I think that's it. There we go. Good work, Mr. Koopa. Helping your buddy the Goomba get to the block. Oh, he's not just supposed to destroy the last one. And goodbye. <laughs> Go for it, Mr. Goomba. Is that thing intended to look like a face, or is it just... I'm not sure what I did, but it worked. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain. Oh, this is cool. Can we just leave it? Press the button again. I think we want to drop the Goomba onto the platform here. And perfect timing. Alright, so what's the trick here? Wait, this is 1FO. Oh, I don't see this one at all. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to turn the Goomba around. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to get the... We do this immediately, so the thump goes back. Whoops. I probably shouldn't have done that. When the thump's up here, we switch them back around, and I think this makes everything work out. Oh, I've got to keep the Goomba on the platforms, I think. So we need to time that exactly like that, apparently. Then we have you bounce off here. Okay, I get it now. Uh, well, we gotta save the Koomba here, so let's... Okay, I gotta keep the mushroom there, too. So save the Koomba and the mushroom is the motto of the day, I suppose. And we just time this last one. Good work, Mr. Goomba. Oh, it's me. I get to do things. <laughs> oh, we gotta stop both of them. Oh, you can switch these fast. For some reason in my mind, I felt like there was going to be a delay here. Okay, well, that worked. It felt a little sketchy, but it did work. 
<laughs> well, that's neat. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to... Um, I guess this is right. <laughs> Good work, me. I figured it out. So what happens if he touches those blocks? Nothing. They're just normal blocks. So we gotta guide this uh, thing along the coin blocks, and I messed it up. I understand what I'm doing now, though. So we want to do that until it gets to the block, and... Oh, wait, maybe it was just gonna bust the other block naturally, and then I ruined it. Well, let's try not doing that again. Alright, so now we just wait, and I think it just bounces back and hits the second block. Good work, Mr. Potaboo. It's like we're playing a game as the enemies, which is pretty neat. Oh, okay. I see the trick here. Mr. Goomba has wings now. But I think I might not have gotten everything. Okay, that works. Not sure what the deal was with the Yoshi. I felt like there was something to it, but then there wasn't. Oh, we're just supposed to trigger this one immediately. See so ya. Yeah, I think? No. We need to keep the Yoshi suspended. If we break either block, we lose. Well, uh, that was that was late enough that it was fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, I'm assuming we need to keep the shell around. Perfect. Huh. Nope, that isn't right. That definitely isn't right. I really have no clue about this one. I don't know how that works, honestly. <laughs> but it does give the Goomba some height, so I just need to wait a little bit longer. Perfect. So where's the disco actually homing to? Okay, so we want to keep the disco alive and just use it to bounce me. I think that actually would have worked. No. Okay, so we kept the shell on the top platform. I don't know if I broke that one, or if that's what was actually supposed to happen. It looks like the gimbal will just walk into it. Oh, it's water. We got the fish a little bit higher. That doesn't... Well, that'll help if I do it correctly. Whoops. That wasn't correctly. Actually, it was correctly. Okay, I'll take it. I kind of botched that by mistake, but it just happened to work. Beyond this pipe are three tougher puzzles. Beat them to win a moon. You can exit the moon puzzle anytime and return anytime you like from now on. Okay, cool. Well, I'll take a shot at it at any rate. As with the other moon puzzles, I won't guarantee that I actually complete it. Okay, this one doesn't look hard to figure out, it just feels like... Uh, we need to get the right timing. I'm assuming we need to just get the Dino Rhino to jump up to the top. Oh, there we go. I kind of just mashed the button randomly and <laughs> eventually got it. Um, well, that wasn't right. Let's just wait and see what happens. Oh, the fish die if I wait. Well, the bottom fish dies if I wait. Okay, and then I think we let this... Oh, okay, that works. Perfect. If the last puzzle is reasonable like these two were... I'll, I'll 
pretty much certainly be getting the moon. Okay, you die. Okay, maybe the shell needs to keep momentum, but the Koopa shouldn't. I'm struggling to see what the purpose of the two blocks on the right is. Oh, perfect. And then you land back down there again. Oh, I'm supposed to trap the shell up there so that I can wait until he goes the other way. Boink. Okay, I messed it up again. I need to press the button a little bit faster. There, now we just drop it, and dang it, I killed him. Gotta get the timing right, but I think I figured it out. Gotcha. All right, got myself a moon. That worked out pretty well, actually. Now let's see if I can get another three lives. Nope. Not even close. I didn't even get, like, 40. But I did get one life from that, because of the score matching my, uh, timer, or whatever it is. Maw of the Beast. It sounds like it's going to be the end game. So let's go to Space Spaghetti's first, which very much does not sound like the end game. It feel, like, it feels really weird to just be controlling myself again for some reason. So this is a feather. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> also, I just realized how many blind jumps I took at the beginning of the level, and everything just worked out. Yeah, I think the safest way is just to wait for that thing. Oh boy. Okay, this is, yeah, I'm just kind of jumping to the next platform and hoping it's in the right place, and so far it always just has been. Well, let's just abuse invincibility and run through that. Hopefully I can continue to navigate this level now that I have no power-ups to abuse. Well, I've still got the rosary, so let's figure out what dumb way I can waste that. I think I want it to be probably, no, it literally doesn't matter where it is. It's just a platform. Oh man, I should have just gone for the pipe. It would have been much easier to land on that than the fast moving thingy move bobber. for? Am I supposed to go? Nope. Can I go back? I don't know why I care, but no. <laughs> oh. I figured that would be tracing the edge of the platform, but it wasn't. Good enough. Okay, there's no spikes up there or anything. This feels tough. Hey, a midpoint! Well, I'm glad to see you, Mr. Midpoint. That pipe must be where I respawn, but let's check it anyways. Yeah. Hey, it's a fish! <laughs> Yay! Yeah, let's just go over here. Forget space spaghettis, it's space fishies. Um, I guess I'll just wait here. Yeah, I mean, that works. 
Oh, I gotta wait here. I almost started just gunning it, which would have been not good. Ah, dang it. So is the pipe saying it's at the end? Nope, very much not so. We're introducing a new gimmick, in fact. Okay, we gotta wait here. Okay, this doesn't look too bad except for the fact that we have to jump between them at the end. And this is the same obstacle except we also have one of these guys. And I did not time that well. Okay, we just do what we did for the one obstacle earlier and wait here on this platform with this guy. Let's go back and forth. Oh, wow, it went out farther than I thought, but I also went out farther than I thought I'd be able to make it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, the timing on this is crucial. Go for it. We want to make this transition immediately. Ah, rats. I actually pressed the reset button from the previous level. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't work all that well. Okay, this time we wait here better. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I managed to wait better. Just go for it and hope it works. Uh, let's just go back. I, I should be holding the button here. There. We want to run off and just float. And it's just an exit, I assume. I can just touch that without touching any of the platforms, so let's just do that. That's clearly not meant to be an obstacle, it's just meant to be a cool looking finish. Well, as far as I know, there's only one level left. I mean, maybe it'll just lead somewhere else and I'm imagining things. Maw of the Beast by La Lazy and Storant Pyro. Okay, maybe this does lead somewhere else. I'm assuming that the very final level will be multi-person. So, let's just do this. Okay, this is definitely looking pretty final. And this is also looking pretty much like a maw. Uh, is it going to eat me because... Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I'm supposed to go a little bit faster rather than doing anything else. Well, don't hold right there. That's what I've learned today. Let's just hold Y and B. For maximum cannon distance. Unfortunately, it drops me in a kind of bad place. Yeah, get out of there. Even the cinematic entrance was kind of tough there. That's weird. What's up with the rope? The reset doors? What would I need to reset for in this level so far? Oh no. Well, that was dumb. Now we'll just spin jump on you, because I don't want to bounce. I'm assuming I just want to run off here, holding the button. Jump! So what's down here? It's a P-switch. But I'm supposed to... I'm assuming I'm supposed to do something over there before activating this thing. Oh, those turned into Koopas when I activate it. Okay, so that wasn't a puzzle. I'm just a... Oh, it is a puzzle. I'm supposed to get myself hurt. Alright, I grabbed the coins. Not sure what the point of that was. Oh, okay. I get, I get it now. The coins are causing those to turn the coins into Koopas. The, 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 I couldn't have said that any worse. So I want to get some of the coins, but not all of them. So which ones do I want to get? I'm going to assume the ones on the right and left, so that I box the Koopa in. There we go. Now I have a Koopa. I should probably grab this, because... And I'm assuming that this will dump something on my head. 
Which way do yellow coupons go? I don't know if they go towards you or away from you. Away. Well, that sucks. I have to sit on the other side of it. I have no clue what I'm. it's going to drop on me, but I'm assuming it's going to hurt me. Oh, it's going to drop itself on me. Well, okay. I'm not sure what I expected since uh, turn blocks don't drop things downwards in this game. We can't go in here. We probably want a P-switch. We can go left or right, but it's telling us to go right. I'm assuming it's not going to be trolling me or anything. We also want to go right down there. We can't go in here. We also have switches. We can go in all three of these, I assume. Well, here's the yellow switch. I'm assuming it's just a destination, like another MacGuffin I have to get. There's a midpoint. I'm assuming whenever I have whatever I need to get to the midpoint, which maybe is a skull raft? I don't know how I would get a skull raft, but it sounds like a plausible thing I would need to get. I'm assuming that if I respawn at the midpoint, I'll get another one, or maybe I'm just supposed to hit the midpoint and die. That, that's also plausible, especially in a weird level like this one. And now I'm all the way over here. Yeah, there's a skull raft. So now I'm over here, even. So I can just go back. Assume it brings me exactly to where I was before. Um, how do I- how exactly do I hit these without, uh, getting trapped in here myself? Is the question. Maybe I'm supposed to trigger the yellow things and then fall down? So considering this reset door is sending me back here, I'm assuming this is just part of this puzzle. And also I figured something out because I didn't know you could do that. Okay, this skull raft I don't need to take anywhere. I, and I don't need to hit any of the note blocks. Alright, so the question is what is this block for, of course considering I can't get out, and I don't see anything obvious to do with it. Uh, we're gonna send one of these downwards. Ah, well, I messed that up, for sure. I'm assuming we need one on each level. Oh, it's the same trick as before. Alright, so I think I understand the puzzle. And that on-off block is for a reset. And now we just wait. I still don't know where exactly this is leading. But I feel like I'm doing the right thing. Okay, I'm not really sure what I accomplished there. I managed to get back out over here without dying, so that's something. Oh, maybe I need to send another skull block on a different track, so that it actually gets past everything. Oh, but I already hit the shells. Oh, I'm supposed to drop one underneath. I need to drop two into the bottom section, I think. Let's drop the last two. Well, I have to drop the last two. Okay, I messed that up. There we go. One on each path. Now we just need to keep up. And... I'm assuming this will just get, make it past the pipe? Yeah. Pretty much just glitch through the pipe, but whatever. I found myself a one-up mushroom. Hint pipe. I mean, I'm assuming this isn't... Like, I'm assuming this sort of hint pipe is 
I expected to be looked at. Okay. I don't really get it. The yellow Yoshi runs to the... I mean, maybe it's just telling me Yoshi can run on lava? I'm not sure why he's teleporting back to the top of the screen like that. Mario and Yoshi have a bone to pick with someone. Sometimes they will have to part waves for a while to make progress. Not sure what bones have to do with it. Also, I'm demo, so the hint doesn't apply to me anyways. Oh, hello, Yoshi. Alright, so I take it I'm supposed to get Yoshi in here somehow to elevator him up to the top. But I'm not really sure how to do that without also being in there and then getting on him as I go back down. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it now. I need to, this is what the grab block is for if I don't mess it up. Alright, so we leave Yoshi here. We grab the block and it despawned. Well, that's great. So we want to flip it up at ground level this time. Perfect. And now we have Yoshi up here. I want to take a look at what's coming up next. I feel like it wants me to send Yoshi across the lava here. I don't understand why yet. But this random obstacle should let me do it. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm just hoping this is one of those uh, puzzles that plays itself out. And I don't really need to figure out what it is as long as I just do it. So Yoshi ran to the other side and he just seems to be gone now. Not 100% sure what I was trying to do there, but it didn't work. So I wonder if I go back to the left if something different happens. The plant is gone. That's strange. Oh, I think I understand what my overarching goal is now. I need to get to there with the switch hit. That way the skull wrap just continues through. And as long as the yellow switch is hit as well, I'll be able to ride it through the next section. So I see that now. How does it color my perspective of anything else that's going on here? All the on-off blocks are in the other part of the level. He could run left, I suppose. That's one thing I haven't tried yet. No, he can't do that, I don't think. He'll hit the pipe. No, no, it, it's good. Well, I suppose I'll try that. I'm not sure what it's meant to accomplish, but... Makes more sense than sending him the other direction. So let's see where exactly he ends up. He shouldn't despawn. He ends up over here. Oh, this guy hasn't spawned again. So I'm not sure how to get him out of this block. Oh, I need to get over here faster. I've got plenty of space to jump on him before he runs in there. Okay. So we reset this, and I know what to do now, at least. Okay, so let's book it. 
fly across the level. <laughs> hey, Yoshi, how's it going? Bye, Yoshi. No plant, please? Good. Now it's clear what these blocks are for, because we leave Yoshi. Let's send him a bit more. I don't know how picky it is. And now we need to solve the earlier puzzle again. The second half of this was actually kind of tricky, so... Uh, I'm actually kind of worried about that one. Getting the timing right wasn't super easy. But I think that's the last thing I have to do at that point. Oh wait, but... There's still one thing I haven't figured out is... What is Yoshi actually supposed to do over here? I can get him up to the top. And I can also get him to eat this annoying plant. Just to get him out of the way, I suppose. I assume Yoshi is intended for me to somehow hit a block an extra time or something like that, but I don't know how he helps me do that. And then I have to ditch him here again. There's no way to get him down there. Luckily I can reset this puzzle with Yoshi, so it doesn't matter too much if I step on him. Oh, I get it now. He's a yellow Yoshi. Okay, we have to be fast. Yeah, that's not going to be fast enough. I have to hit the block, eat the shell, and then uh, go to the other one. Also, I'm not sure why I'm trying to start start select that. I wouldn't want to do that even if it was possible. Alright, so now is where we ditch Yoshi, now that the puzzle is solved. Now this should just go straight on through. Let's try not to die at the next obstacle, because that would suck. I should have eaten that guy a while ago. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. I was worried the time pressure might cause me to screw it up, but actually it's just really easy. Just sit here under the munchers, don't do anything stupid like jumping. Grab myself the midpoint, gives me a 1-up to encourage me to kill myself. Do I have to aim for the pipe? Well, I've been eaten, that's good. Okay. Well, I messed that up, clearly. What on earth am I trying to accomplish here? Am I trying to kill- no, we're trying to turn- use the magic to turn- Whoops. We want to turn that into a Koopa for some reason, I suppose? Alright, so let's just see what happens if I do this. We get a Koopa to fall there. And then I need to use him to break this block. Of course he's not walking, so that doesn't do me much good. He starts he gets pushed right or something like that. Oh, it just gets stuck. I wasn't aware of that. It also doesn't help at all. <laughs> at least not yet. Oh, we gotta get ourselves hurt, too. Well, thankfully the disco is right there, so... It's one more puzzle solved. And for this one, I'm assuming we just want to immediately guide it left so that the thing goes into the seam like it did before. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, but I can't actually step on it. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> I need to leave myself space at the left, too. 
Oh, actually, even only half of it has to go into the seam. Because I need the other part of it. Okay. Actually, there's a second seam there, too. So I think I need to do something like this. No, I screwed it up. Okay, so we'll try this. Oh. I guess I need, maybe need to make a box. Oh, that's good enough, apparently. Oh no. But yeah, here's where we need the top one. And then we need to ride the second one again. So, something like this? No, that's, that's not quite right. Let's not even bother. Okay, let's just do it that way. And then I can grab those two coins up there. Dang it. Alright, let's try this. Now I can ride this. Oh, it fell. Well, that wasn't the right place for it, exactly. It'll just fall anyway, so that's all I need to do. I just need to hit it now, I think. There we go. Now I think they're riding all along the seams. Uh, let's not fall off, thanks. Oh, that was close. And now I'm assuming any farther reset doors will take me <laughs> to the new area because that was that that was actually kind of tricky to execute. So this, these will eat these blocks. Okay. And it won't eat them in the downwards direction, apparently. Well, I obviously did not figure it out, but the one thing I do know is that I need that mushroom. That doesn't actually release the mushroom, so that doesn't help me at all. Alright, now I think I'm... I'm guessing that I want to hit this P-switch first. And then just do this. Oh, well that erased the mushroom. That's unfortunate. Perfect. Now I get the mushroom and I can continue on. Alright, I'm wondering if this is the last puzzle here. We've already had the one-up checkpoint. And we've had the regular midpoint, so we've got to be pretty close to the end. And it's more skull wrapped business. Apparently there's another Yoshi that's going to be here too. I guess the differently colored block over there is just to say that the skull wrap will go through it. Though maybe not? I'm not really sure. So let's just ride the skull wrap and see where it goes by default. Oh boy, this is going to be putting everything together, isn't it? Oh no, those blue blocks mean that it'll get eaten. And it has to be eaten. So let's see. I can hit the on-off switch over here, but then I can't go back. I guess the trick with that one is that I'm going to need to drop part of the skull raft using that block down there. 
And other than that, I need to use the skull raft to go over to the right. So I take it that that's the trick. Uh, I need to go over to the right with this thing and then respawn it later. So let's just try eating that blue block on the premise that maybe that's just what I need to- the only thing I need to do with this coin snake. That'll carry it up to this place. And I probably need to divide the skull raft in half again. But I can't get back from here. So maybe I just have to do this all at once. Divide it in half. Okay, that one gets wasted. Get rid of this, so that I can continue on. But how would I do that fast enough? Because I can't divide it in half again if I do that. I'm assuming the trick is that I come back at the end through this pipe and reach that yellow switch that will allow me to climb the vine. Unless I'm supposed to take another pass through from here. It looks like I'm supposed to have Yoshi at this part. Okay. Yeah, I need to take another pass through right now. I think I solved whatever I was supposed to solve so far. No. I just end up back here. But I've already... But yes, that does solve my problem. Oh, shoot. And then I go and mess it up. Be right back. weird that they disappeared that time. Now let's see where this one takes me. To a reset pipe. Did I do something wrong? No. Okay, I just have to reset it to start it apparently. Also, that is clearly a door and not a pipe. So we can just get the P-switch by licking it. Not sure what I need to do with this yet. Apparently hitting the sign stops that thing. Fortunately, I don't actually know what I'm trying to accomplish here. If I go through the wrong pipe, I mean, might need to do things all over again. Oh, cool. Okay, I can just go back up here whenever I want now. So basically, I just have free access to this top area. Now, what am I actually trying to do here? Because, I mean, originally I thought I was supposed to be trying to get up that vine. That was where I came from, right? Yeah, that's the block I broke to get up here. So maybe I'm trying to get Yoshi over to... The blue shell. Okay, well I can't take the shell back. I guess that means it would break something, but I don't know what. The question is, how exactly could I get Yoshi out? Oh, he's supposed to be hit. I get it now. I still don't know what the blue piece which is for, or this coin snake. But let's just see where Yoshi goes if he gets hit. We send Yoshi down there. And he ends up in this spot.
Oh, okay, so the coin snake is to keep him trapped in for a bit. Then when he gets down here, I just need to solve this puzzle again. No, but then how does he get past here? No, I just need to jump on jump on him and then release him like this. And he'll slide across the 1FO and then he'll get past it. But how do I use this to actually trap him in? Also, I ate the piece, which by mistake, that, that kind of doesn't help. Because these signs are here, and they're kind of in the way. Okay, so we can't do that either. Yeah, but I think I can... I think I spot a way to be able to do this. I, I can just use the same pattern, actually. Let's avoid crushing either of these with Yoshi. So now we want to do this. want to lick this. Do that. Somehow get hit. That was dumb. Let's hope I don't get hit again. Now we've got enough time before he comes down. There we go. Okay, well I've solved the puzzle, but executing it from here is still kind of tricky, so... Let's try not to mess it up. We just keep adding more elements onto it. Uh, do I need to do the double s solve here again? I think I need to. Oh, I needed to slide Yoshi along the bottom one FO. So that he gets down to that bottom section. Well, I didn't lose my Yoshi, so it's still not too bad to reset. Honestly, I'm not sure how I would lose my Yoshi here. Oh. Oh wait, never mind. That was right. That was what I was supposed to do, I think. Yeah, he's sitting right over there. And... Don't need to get the other skull raft over here. We can just do this. Fly up to the top. We can enter this pipe with Yoshi, because it's a normal pipe. Oh, thank goodness I wasn't holding it right or something. Congratulations, your final challenge awaits. You'll be greeted with four castles, which can be played in any order. All must be completed before the path to the final level opens. Well, I suppose that next time I'll be aiming for all uh, four of those castles, so that I have time to do the final level in one episode, hopefully. Man, that was a doozy of a puzzle. It's definitely cool how like, you introduce so many elements and then put them all together at the end for a big finale. I like it a lot. Now let's go onwards to... Whoa. Artistic landscape world. <laughs> Marcel's house. Oh my gosh. Let me guess, this was made by FT. But anyways... No, it was made by Pyro, actually. Anyways, see you next time. <laughs>